the graduate, what you have achieved now is the beginning. Your life is still ahead, and you can achieve a lot. But you need to guard yourselves. If you get sick, you get one of these bad diseases, you will not be, you will not realize your full potential. Alcohol, alcohol is very dangerous. Alcohol can damage your brain, damage your organs. Take away a lot of your time. So please, guard yourself. If you guard yourself, you have more time to enjoy in a safe way than if you are, you are reckless. Therefore, with these few words, it is my pleasure to pass out to the two courses. I want to thank you for your strategic vision and emphasis on the continuous training and professionalizing of the UPDF to create a strategic advantage and capability to meet changing security threats. The graduates, as you go to the field, uphold the achievements of the gallant officers and militants who over the years have served and sacrificed for this country, Uganda. You have earned this honor with hard work and you will retain it by leaving the core values of UPTF, which, has, which is loyalty, patriotism, courage, discipline, and teamwork. What we see today, the results of a peaceful country, our contribution to the region and to Africa as a whole, is testimony and the efforts of the army leadership towards a very positive direction. I want also to thank and congratulate students today for a job well done. It's been very rigorous, very tough. You needed to be very resilient to uh, reach uh, this end and graduate. This course is just the beginning of your training. You are going to be out there. You need to be disciplined. So you protect yourself, you are still very young, you have a very long time ahead of you. I want to thank you for the hard work, resilience, uh, commitment, and discipline that you exhibited while you the course. You are coming in the field of combating terrorism when UPF has improved means of being operations. However, you need to know that the environment of countering violent extremes is now dynamic and challenging. The drivers of violent extremes are ever increasing is the operational environment characterized by advancement of uh, technology and globalization. You no longer control information space. Whatever you do is seen in real time by everybody. Therefore, you must act professionally in accordance with the rules of Uganda and UPDF standard operating procedures.